Okay, so solving simultaneous equations, again from GCSE, you've got two linear equations. Now you will have been taught two methods probably, one is substitution and one is elimination. I'm going to do it by elimination because that tends to be the most popular choice, but obviously if you prefer substitution that's perfectly fine. So for elimination, then we are trying to get either the x's or the y's the same. So, if I multiply this equation through by 2, then my x's will be the same. So I'm going to call this equation 1 and call this one equation 2. If I multiply that one by 2, then I'm going to get 2x minus 2y is 6. I'm going to keep equation 1 as it is. So now to eliminate the x's, I can subtract one equation from the other. So I'm just going to do a subtraction. The 2x, subtract the 2x will give us a 0, which was the plan. Now watch your signs here. You've got a 3y and you subtract minus 2y. So you end up with 3y plus 2y, which is 5y. And then 11 minus 6 will give you 5. So divide by 5 and you get y is equal to 1. To figure out the x value, you can go back and use either of these equations. It doesn't matter which one. Sub the y in to find the x. So this one is a more simple equation. So if I use equation 2, then I have x minus y is equal to 3. So x is 3 plus 1, so x is equal to 4. So your final answer is x is 4 and y is 1. And by all means, check your answer by subbing both of those values into both equations, and it should also work in equation 1. Okay, moving on to B. Again, if you wish to use substitution, you can, but I'm going to do it by elimination. We want the y's or the x's the same. So again, I'm going to go for the x's because it's more straightforward. If I multiply through by 5, then I'll have a 5x and a 5x. If you wanted to make the y's the same, you would have to multiply this equation by 3 and that equation by 2. Feel free to try it, you should get the same answer. So if I call this equation 1 and equation 2, multiply through by 5, so I get 5x plus 10y, which is 40. Leave equation 2 as it is. Now again, I have the 5x's which are the same, so therefore if I subtract one equation from the other, we have 5x subtract 5x which eliminates the x, gives us a 0. 10y subtract 3y is 7y. 40 subtract 5 is 35. So y is 35 divided by 7, which very nicely is 5. Go back to either of these equations to find your x value. This one will be more straightforward, so I'll use equation one. So x plus two y, which is now five, is equal to eight. So x plus 10 is eight. Subtract the 10 on the other side, x is minus two. So your final answer is x is minus two and y is five. Again, to check your solution, you can sub these back into both of these equations and they should work in both equations.